Today, we mourn the loss of a beloved actor whose performances have touched the hearts of millions around the globe. Al Pacino, born on April 25, 1940, in New York City, was an iconic American actor, director, and producer. Despite his legendary status in Hollywood, there were lesser-known dimensions of his life that added depth to his craft and contributed to the enduring impact of his performances on stage and screen. Alfredo James Pacino was born on April 25, 1940, in New York City to Italian-American parents. His upbringing in the South Bronx deeply influenced his later acting roles portraying gritty urban characters. Before fame, Pacino faced financial struggles. At one point, he worked odd jobs, including as a janitor and a messenger, while pursuing his acting career, demonstrating his dedication to his craft. Al Pacino was involved in various high-profile relationships over the years, including those with actors Diane Keaton and Beverly D'Angelo. He had three children, including twins Anton James and Olivia Rose, with actress Beverly D'Angelo. Pacino's breakthrough came in theater. He gained attention for his stage performances, notably in The Indian Wants the Bronx, and Does a Tiger Wear a Necktie, winning a Tony Award at the age of 32 for his role in the latter. His role as Michael Corleone in The Godfather in 1972 solidified his status as a Hollywood legend. His nuanced portrayal of the Mafia boss's transformation garnered critical acclaim and earned him an Academy Award nomination. While Pacino was revered for his talent, it wasn't until his eighth Oscar nomination that he won the Best Actor Academy Award for his role as Frank Slade in Sentinel Woman in 1992. Al Pacino made his directorial debut with Looking for Richard in 1996, a documentary exploring Shakespeare's Richard III. The film showcased his passion for Shakespearean acting. He was supportive of aspiring filmmakers, providing mentorship and guidance to emerging talents in the film industry, emphasizing the importance of dedication and perseverance. Al Pacino's career was marked by a diverse range of roles, from intense characters in crime dramas to sensitive portrayals in emotionally charged films. He continually showcased his versatility as an actor. Pacino was involved in various political and social causes. He spoke out on issues such as environmental conservation and supported charities dedicated to education and the arts. Al Pacino was a private person and kept his personal life away from the spotlight. He had been in relationships and had children but maintained a low-key approach to his private affairs. Al Pacino's journey from humble beginnings to becoming an icon of American cinema highlighted his dedication to his craft his versatility as an actor, and his impact on both stage and screen. Before his breakthrough in The Godfather, Pacino delivered a remarkable performance in this film, portraying a heroin addict. Though less known than his later roles, this film showcased his acting prowess. Pacino wasn't initially offered a substantial salary for The Godfather. He was initially offered a significantly lower amount, but managed to negotiate a better deal, which included a higher paycheck and profit percentage. Al Pacino had a deep love for Shakespeare's works. He starred in Shakespearean plays on stage and even produced and directed Looking for Richard, a documentary exploring the complexities of Richard Tidy and Shakespearean acting. Pacino's remarkable contribution to cinema and the performing arts earned him continued recognition. He was honored with the Kirk Douglas Award for Excellence in Film by the Santa Barbara International Film Festival in 2019. In the mid-2010s, Pacino made a return to the stage with The Merchant of Venice, where he played the iconic role of Shylock. The performance garnered critical acclaim, showcasing his enduring talent in live theater. Beyond his Oscar wins and nominations, Pacino received numerous accolades, including the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement in Motion Pictures and the National Medal of Arts, recognizing his contribution to the arts. In addition to Looking for Richard, Pacino directed Chinese Coffee in 2000, a film adaptation of a play in which he also starred. His passion for directing complemented his extensive acting career. While often associated with Francis Ford Coppola for his role in the Godfather series, Pacino collaborated with Martin Scorsese in Heat in 1995 and The Irishman in 2019, adding to their cinematic legacies. 
Al Pacino's performances were often accompanied by memorable lines. While famous for its Say Hello to My Little Friend and Scarface, his other roles also contained iconic quotes that became ingrained in popular culture. Pacino was involved in charitable efforts, supporting causes related to arts education, literacy, and homelessness, displaying his commitment to using his platform for social good. He was honored with several honorary degrees from universities, acknowledging his contributions to the arts and his impact on film and theater. Al Pacino's commitment to the craft led him to collaborate with HBO on a documentary titled Passino, One Night Only. The film delved into his acting process, showcasing his dedication and insights into the art of acting. In 2014, Pacino starred in an adaptation of Philip Roth's novel The Humbling on Stage. His portrayal of an aging actor experiencing an existential crisis was praised for its depth and vulnerability. Beyond his acting career, Pacino had a keen interest in photography. He was known to capture moments through his lens, exploring the artistry of photography as a form of personal expression. In recent years, Pacino lent his distinctive voice to characters in animated films, contributing his talent to animated projects, adding a different dimension to his acting repertoire. His love for literature extended beyond acting. Pacino's appreciation for the written word and storytelling was evident in his adaptations of plays and novels for both stage and screen. Al Pacino occasionally participated in public speaking engagements, sharing insights into his career, acting process, and the art of storytelling, inspiring aspiring actors and enthusiasts. Pacino held a special place in Italian culture due to his Italian heritage. He was honored in Italy for his contributions to cinema and had a significant following in the country. In 2019, Pacino was honored with the American Film Institute's Life Achievement Award, recognizing his outstanding contribution to the film industry. Despite his fame, Pacino led a relatively low-key lifestyle when he wasn't working. He was known to maintain a level of privacy and enjoyed a quiet existence away from the spotlight. Al Pacino didn't engage in social media, preferring to keep a distance from the online world. He valued personal interactions over digital platforms and rarely shared personal updates online. His dedication to acting often took precedence in his life. Pacino was known for his intense focus on his craft, dedicating much of his time and energy to perfecting his roles and exploring various characters. Al Pacino's journey from humble beginnings to becoming an icon of American cinema highlighted his dedication to his craft his versatility as an actor, and his impact on both stage and screen. Subscribe now and be the first to watch our latest videos.